integrate x times the sine of x times the cosine of x with respect to x. Solution. So we have a product of three functions here. So I am thinking that uh, we can use a trig identity. So recall that sine of 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. And so here we have sine x cosine x. So maybe we can take this trig identity and divide both sides by 2 so that we have sine x cosine x equals 1 half sine 2x. And so now we can replace uh, the sine x cosine x with 1 half sine 2x. And we can pull that 1 half out. So we have x sine 2x. And so now we can integrate this and because of the same thing, and then we're done. To integrate this, we can use tabular integration or parts. Let's use tabular because it's faster. So tabular says uh, that when you have a product like this, if one of the factors after repeated differentiation is eventually 0, um, you can use tabular. So x after repeated differentiation is eventually 0 because the derivative of x is 1 and its derivative is 0. And then you take the other piece then you integrate it. So when you integrate sine, um, you get negative cosine. And then all you do here is you just divide by the 2. You can always do that whenever you're, whenever you're integrating like sine of a number times x. You just integrate the sine, and then you divide by the number in front of the x. right? When we do it again, we integrate the cosine, so we get the sine. And then we divide by the 2 again, so we get uh, 4. Then in tabular, you start with the plus, so plus minus plus, and then you draw arrows. So this is going to be 1 half. So following the arrows here, we have negative x over 2, cosine 2x, plus 1 fourth sine 2x, plus c. And to finish, just distribute the 1 half. So we have negative 1 fourth x, cosine 2x plus 1 eighth sine 2x. And at the end, we have the plus c. Kind of rushed through that, running out of time. Um, but that is the final answer. I hope that made sense.